Okay guys, you can see that the uh, 10 Alpha device has uh, just booted up, brings you up to a, a new menu. Um, as you can see during the boot up time, um, the background animation just kind of uh, moves as opposed to having a taskbar that moves from left to right. So we don't actually have the uh, timeline of uh, how much it's actually booted up. But um, anyway, this is the uh, front screen, as you can see, it gives you the time, it gives you the uh, NFC uh, option on or off at the moment, it looks like it's on. Uh, it has a Bluetooth indicator, which is uh, dimmed, which obviously shows that it's off. Uh, we have the Wi-Fi signal, as you can see at the moment, it's uh, connected, uh, not too, oh, it's just jumped up to three, so that's great. The uh, battery, um, status, uh, we can see that that is just below 50% at the moment, and uh, we have the uh, cog uh, for the uh, settings uh, menu. Uh, on the front screen you can see the uh, browser icon and also the camera icon. Um, if we just uh, go through, uh, we move the uh, gesture uh, using the uh, finger uh, just over to the left, we can see the setup icon, back to the uh, camera icon. Um, at the moment it's just two uh, apps that we have on the uh, Alpha device purely because it is a prototype uh, and obviously there's no real apps uh, out at the moment. It's out for us developers to uh, go out and start making uh, some apps for uh, the device. Um, first off it looks very fluid, it uh, seems quite fast to move uh, across. We'll just have a look at the uh, camera. As you can see, uh, it's a nice flow of uh, updating the actual camera. Um, we'll just uh, sort of focus out on the video. There we go. Uh, we can see some of the uh, options for the uh, camera. Um, if we just move it down, we have some top icons, which has uh, pictures, uh, stabilization. Uh, it has a uh, ratio of uh, the uh, image. Um, it also has the uh, auto feature which allows you to uh, check what um, uh, what uh, camera uh, mode uh, that we want. Yep, the mode. Um, so we can also choose action, uh, auto, uh, you know we can go to each uh, any one of these uh, options. Uh, you can see you can switch from uh, video to uh, camera. Uh, you have the uh, zoom option, which is on the left. Uh, as you can see, it is prototype, so I'm not sure if all of the uh, functions do uh, work. Uh, so what we'll do is uh, from the camera, we'll uh, just swipe up and uh, fire up the browser, which as you can see with the new cascade feature of the uh, 10 OS, uh, it basically uh, swipes in uh, each time. Uh, the first off browser, uh, it brings you up to a page uh, full of, uh, you know, websites. So for example, we can go over to uh, Yahoo and uh, just have a look at the uh, home page there. As you can see, it uh, loads up more or less pretty smooth, pretty quick. Uh, you can move between uh, the actual uh, page itself. Um, it's quite great, it's quite fluid, so uh, there's the uh, browser menu, uh, so we can open up a new tab and maybe go over to Bing. Uh, as you can see, web, web page, uh, very sharp, very clear, very smooth. Uh, if we want directions, obviously, uh, if we need to type into the uh, search menu, we have the uh, QWERTY keyboard. Uh, obviously, this is the uh, new uh, intuitive uh, keyboard, as opposed, you know, there are um, uh, discussions going on whether to remove the uh, physical keyboard outright and replacing it with a touch type keyboard. Um, so, if we can just uh, go to, you know, either recently accessed pages or some suggestions. We can uh, obviously just choose from there and obviously it does a search for you and uh, you know you can just access uh, the web page. Uh, there we go, it's loading. 
So, you know, it can get you into the uh, hot mail, etc. And, uh, you know, the web browser it does look quite intuitive. It looks quite sharp. There's your previous pages if you need to switch between the tabs. Um, haven't actually looked through most of these settings that it is particularly new, but it looks like you have a downloads folder. Uh, you got a settings folder. You got a list of your favorite bookmarks. Uh, you can add, obviously, a bookmark. Uh, let's just give it a quick add. Uh, let's select, uh, why can't we select the Hotmail tab? Okay, let's see if we can switch it. Uh, no, we can't. Uh, not sure. Obviously, it's a new prototype browser, so uh, obviously, there's going to be one or two things that maybe ain't right. Um, if we look at, for example, YouTube, uh, it does load up pretty well, pretty fast, pretty quick. Uh, we can uh, randomly just select, uh, oh, Diary of a Bad Man. Let's uh, check this out. Let's just check the uh, quality of the video streaming, for example. Um, it's pre-selected at uh, high quality. So, uh, as you can see, it is uh, loading up. You can make it bigger. Obviously, um, the screen resolution is uh, a lot sharper at uh, 300 dpi as opposed to you know standard uh, Android handsets, etc. Uh, so it looks uh, quite sharp, quite clean, quite clear. As you can see, you can switch between apps uh, using the uh, cascading tool, so you can switch to the camera. It will switch to back to the camera and then if you want to move back to the video just select the browser and it will continue where you left off uh, just waiting for the uh, other focus to uh, kick in or to the uh, video uh, okay while well, that's uh, going through so uh, we could take a look at the options menu let's like just follow this video uh, where we go we'll just close off the browser We'll bring up the uh, settings menu. Uh, one second, what is. Uh, we just need to uh, focus. Uh, focus, focus, come on. Okay, here we go. Right, so gives you an about page, uh, tells you about the uh, alpha device, uh, just a couple of things, how many applications. It says 33, but uh, we've only seen a couple. But uh, obviously, I still need to play around. With that, gives you a list of uh, pictures that have been taken, video, music, applications, obviously a serial number, etc. So, you know, we can just go through to the uh, options here. Uh, obviously, airplane mode. It has a nice little tweak for the um, on and off switch. I think I've seen similar on an iPhone, I believe. Uh, on and off, come on, how do you switch it off? All right, one second, let me try and swipe off. Okay, forget it, it doesn't want to be switched off. Uh, got the Wi-Fi option, uh, currently says it's turned off. How can it be turned off when uh, the Wi-Fi was uh, working a minute ago, especially without a SIM card? Uh, there we go, the airplane mode, that must have switched it off. Uh, we need to switch off the airplane mode, there we go, simple as that. Brilliant. Mobile network, uh, obviously uh, when, when we do get the capability of uh, making and receiving calls with a new OS, uh, obviously it has the option here. Uh, if you need to do any software updates, uh, we can check for updates there. Uh, at the moment it's running the uh, Playbook uh, modified version OS for this uh, device. NFC options, uh, there we go, it's uh, currently on. You could play a sound if you like when it's uh, turned on. Uh, Bluetooth options, as you can see, uh, gives you a uh, properties page uh, for the device. Uh, currently, it's showing up as playbook, obviously, for the modified version. Uh, obviously, the BlackBerry ID has uh, tethering so if you want to switch on uh, and use uh, your uh, alpha device or your new color blackberry 10 os as a tethering tool you can do that let's have a look at the screen options um, dependent on whether you choose your battery or whether it's plugged into a charger how bright 
you want the uh, device to be showing, currently it's on its brightest uh, for the purpose of this demo. Uh, let's have a look at the uh, whoop, uh, HDMI option. It, because the beauty of the Alpha device, because it has the option for the HDMI, you can connect it directly to a uh, TV or a monitor that has the uh, HDMI connection so you can watch high definition videos directly from your handset on the actual uh, device which is excellent. Let's have a look at the sound and uh, notifications uh, menu. Uh, has the master volume etc and uh, you know, text message or email notifications. Uh, let's see what's on the general. Um, Okay, just sets the application behavior when you're uh, multitasking. We'll go through the demo uh, mode shortly afterwards. Um, storage connections and uh, sharing. Um, if you want to switch on any file sharing, it looks like uh, either through Wi-Fi or maybe a USB connection when you connect it to your uh, computer. Let's have a look at the uh, security options. Uh, obviously, it has a whole heap of uh, you know application permission, permissioning, uh, certificates. Um, the uh, cool mode that we've been uh, given uh, access uh, for this uh, OS uh, device, uh, alpha device, is this uh, development mode, where we can switch it on and it does have a capability of uh, remoting into the actual device from a PC so we can it's quite great we can troubleshoot apps directly from a PC remotely onto the actual alpha device using the IP address that we set it's a really really great amazing tool to have especially for us to troubleshoot uh, the device uh, for the applications, uh, obviously you've got language settings, we've got the keyboard, um, touch type uh, settings here. Um, we can maybe see and uh, check if we can actually do a bit more touch type uh, typing on the keyboard. Uh, okay, let's uh, quit out of this. Uh, swipe up, I believe, is it? There we go, swipe. That swipe down. Yeah, that was a swipe down. Okay, uh, let's get back onto the browser and uh, just run a quick uh, keyboard type. Uh, let's go to Google, uh, load that up. At the moment, obviously, because of the screen resolution, the BlackBerry uh, Playbook OS, uh, modified version of the OS, as you can see, the screen resolution still needs to be a little worked apart. Uh, obviously, that's something that the guys are working with. Um, so, for example, let's just type here BlackBerry, uh, BlackBerry 10, BlackBerry, as you can see, gives you a little uh, suggestion words here, so it'll be BlackBerry Bold, uh, let's try BlackBerry Bold for, press enter. Uh, was that forum or was that something else? Okay, there we go, BlackBerry forums. I bring you up a page uh, with search results for BlackBerry Bold forums, which is great. As you can see, uh, if we go into the settings mode, Wi-Fi mode, uh, if we swipe up again, it should bring up the cascade with uh, all the other uh, options. Uh, available. Um, so that's uh, as far as it goes with regards to the uh, BlackBerry 10 Alpha device running the playbook modified version uh, of the OS. Uh, come on, focus, focus. Um, so that's about it. We'll um, hang tight, wait till a few more apps have been developed, have been released, and uh, you know, we're pretty excited about this BlackBerry 10. OS and uh, fingers crossed let's uh, hope for a um, interesting outcome. Cheerio! Okay guys just one quick thing I forgot to mention previously uh, the uh, Alpha device uh, does have this uh, setup mode which when launched uh, it's like a first time setup uh, we just dismiss this uh, low level battery. Uh, so obviously from here you can choose your language uh, when you're setting up your device, uh, you swipe left 
to continue. Uh, let's just uh, back out of this. Uh, so you have your Wi-Fi options, for example, a list of uh, Wi-Fi connections available. Uh, if you need to set date and time of the device, you can do so. Uh, so swipe left. Uh, BlackBerry device uh, desktop software. Uh, obviously, if that needs to be set up, we could do that uh, too. It's not a problem. Uh, let's back out of this. Go skip this. Let's uh, quit out of this and uh, launch it again. Uh, obviously, the low battery notification keeps appearing. Uh, tablet basics, uh, just a couple of things with the uh, home application menus. Just gives you a quick uh, demo of uh, how to run through and bring up certain menus and uh, selections from uh, you know using the device as you can see it says swipe down uh, skip this what else is there uh, blackberry bridge obviously it's just a connection between your playbook and uh, handset and uh, device as well so we could just uh, quit out of this but that was just a quick run through of the uh, setup options on the uh, BlackBerry Playbook. Uh, let me just uh, show you how to reset the device. Uh, so you just hold down the top power button, brings you three menus, turn off, standby, or restart. Uh, so obviously you can do one of three. Hit the restart, there you go, restarting BlackBerry 10 Dev Alpha. Uh, standard boot up time I believe is about 2 minutes and uh, 30 seconds or so which is uh, not too bad but uh, that's the low battery indicator uh, and uh, so while that boots up uh, we give it, give it 5 and take from there.